You recording? Yep. Okay. Hey guys, T Peps at Toonzilla. Uh, today we're going to be showing you how to, well, I'll show you how to install our Haldex Spring upgrade in this Mark 7.5 uh, All Track. So, first step would be get your car in the air, um, get underneath it and see what you're working with, uh, what sort of things are in the way. Um, this one I can see pretty clearly we're going to have to take out this middle portion of the exhaust. Uh, because you're going to have to undo the prop shaft and pull it away from the rear diff to access the spring. Honestly, it'd probably be easier just to take the whole back section off, but here we are. Easy. So now we're going to remove the three bolts holding the prop shaft to the rear diff. So once your bolts are out, you're going to be prying your prop shaft away from the flange here on the rear diff. Just take note of the marking that's on the, um, the prop shaft here and then the marking that's on the flange. Um, these two should line up. The way to do this is just get a pry bar up here in between the flange and the, the disc and pry it forward. And you can pry it forward enough just to move it down and to the side. All right, so once you have your prop shaft moved down out of the way, uh, the fitting you're looking for, is it's tucked up here in behind the flange on the rear diff. Um, it is pretty hard to see. A uh, mirror might be able to help you. I don't even know if you'll be able to see it on the camera there, uh, but it's like this little brass fitting that goes into the, into the diff. So what you'll need to remove it is just a six mil Allen key and a ratchet. Wobble extension might help, depending on how far you're able to move your prop shaft down. But it's not in there very tight at all. Just get in there, loosen it up, and you can remove it right from there. So the spring we're replacing is inside here, in between the brass and the steel. Um, so you do have to take it apart. and show you how to do that in just a sec. So we want to bring your little piece over to the vise here. Um, ideally, you probably want to use something like aluminum soft jaws so you don't damage the steel. But what you want to do is just clamp it enough so that it won't spin. Just on the just on the bottom part here, because the brass part's gonna come off. So you take your six mil Allen key, get in there, and just kind of twist it. These two pieces are just press fit together. So Twisting it helps loosen them up, and it is held together held together under pressure. So once it comes apart, the spring will pop it, and you have to be quite careful because underneath the spring you'll have these two pieces, which you do not want to lose. So this is just going to go in place of that inside. So to reassemble the little ball, grab it, goes in first. This piece has a little spot for the ball, so it just goes on top like that. And you've got your spring and this piece. So now. In order to close this up, like I said, it's just a press fit. So we'll be putting it in the vise and just closing it up on itself. Just make sure your parts are lined up good when you're pushing them together. You don't need a ton of pressure, just enough till it stops. Hold itself together like that. So now Ray Spring is installed. We can put this back in the unit inside the car. All right, so we'll put this back up in the Haldex unit in the rear diff here. And it's not super tight. It's snug and then a little bit more. Um, you can gauge that by how tight it was when you undid it. 
and when I ended it, it, it just came undone. So um, snug, but not too tight. One thing to note is, you know, you might be wondering, I didn't put any sealant on that or anything. There are a couple O-rings on the fitting. Um, so when you're handling it, just be cautious not to damage the O-rings because technically Volkswagen says this isn't a serviceable part. Um, so they don't sell replacement O-rings. If you need to replace an O-ring because it got damaged, uh, you'll have to find one that fits on your own. I just put a little bit of grease inside here before you reassemble. Um, I'd like to put it right on the shaft, but it's a little hard to get to. Same way you took it off, just kind of pry it away from the flange and push it back up. It is fairly difficult to move because it's a tight fit, but it will go. Prop shaft is pretty much in place, lined up with the shaft there. Uh, you just want to make sure you rotate your flange so these two markings are lined up. You can push it on and we'll reinstall the bolts. The torque on the three bolts on the rear here are is 60 newton meters. Okay, so now that you got your prop shaft back on, um, that's pretty much it in terms of installing the Haldex spring itself. Uh, so you, for whatever car you have, you'd have to do whatever you took off to get to this point. Um, so I'm gonna do that quickly and then we'll have to go inside the car and do an ad ad eh, adaptation on the Haldex unit. All right, so you want to go into the all-wheel drive module. Uh, first thing we want to do is check the temperature. The Halleck system has to be at a temperature of between 20 and 30 degrees, so right now we're seeing 26 degrees, so that's good. So now we can go into basic settings, go to the drop-down menu, pump motor and run it. It'll run for a few minutes, you'll hear it making all sorts of noises in the back and then just uh, once it says it's done, you're done. When it's done, oh, we just missed the message but it said finish correctly, now it's just telling you that it's not running so once you get the finish correctly message you can just click done and go back and um, if you're just installing the Haldex spring itself that's where this DIY ends. Uh, this particular customer, he's also coupling it with our Haldex tune. Um, so I'm gonna go on and flash that tune for him now. All right, are you ready, J-Man?